very yeah. interesting. Uh, they, yeah, it's, uh, they do the experiment, how to scale an agile organization from a couple of people to a couple of hundreds of people. Wow, so the odd way. Very interesting. By who? By Kun Twin Panis Songbat. Uh, I think everybody know him as a a child celebrity. Kun <laughs> 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 Twin Panis Songbat is a he said software development should be fun. Kun Twin Panis Songbat is a programmer, uh, the speaker uh, on the topic of the uh, software development. Currently, he is working on his experiment about which one he can. Yeah, he will come to talk uh, with you. Okay, please warm welcome, Kun Twin. Hab. Oh, our P roof, ka. Sorry, Hab. Okay, so let's me move on stage. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, first of all, I like to uh. Thank you, staff and other persons that invite me to be a speaker in this event. It's uh, very exciting to be here. Okay. And uh, first of all, I, I would like to inform you that um, this is a disclaimer. So please uh, interpret that the way that we do. We tell you that you are wrong. Okay. So there's nobody wrong. We are try to do something, and we will see that the result, whether it's fit for you or not. Okay. This is our experiment. Okay. First of all, I like to uh, introduce myself. You can call me Ruth or Twin Panisombat. Currently, I'm working as a software stylist at Odds. Okay, but please don't ask me what I'm doing as a software stylist. It's just uh, look cool when we are uh, uh, talking to other persons. And uh, basically, I used to be a speaker in this event five years ago. And we usually, we usually come to this event as a technical expert and we come and share uh, in more technical site. But this year, we come in a different way. We come and share our experiment that what we have done in seven years. Uh, first of all, many persons may have seen this kind of photos or this, or this kind of uh, information in others' conference. There's a guys, a group of guys, a group of people that are trying to be a sponsors of that event, and they allow to uh, set up some sort of boots and this group of people will do things differently from other person. They leave booth empty and they put only one A4 paper and write down like this, we are not hiring. Okay, so that is our first experiment that we won't hire people and we will do something else. Okay, and if you want to know more about us, I would like to uh, introduce ourselves. So we are odds. We are a group of people, which is consists of 260 people right now. Okay. And we are stay together and believe in two common values. First, we believe that software development should be fun. But fun doesn't mean la laughing all the times or playing all the times or do some stupid thing all the times. Fun in our perspective is we feel very happy when we can deliver software that can solve problems to our customer. And every time we see their smile, it fulfills in my heart, in our heart, that it makes me fun to do that things to customer. Even if it's very hard things, we still fun to do it. Second thing, we believe that uh, in software development ecosystem, it changed a lot, it moved very fast. So we just can't sit and lay back and doing nothing. If we do something like that, we will be outdated and we have no value in this industry. So we believe that we need to practice, I mean practice by ourselves every day to be better person every day. So if we do this, we can 
stay alive in this ecosystem and in industry. Okay. So that is two common things that we hold together. That is a general introduction about us. To get to know more about us, I'd like to bring you to our first act, which is a history of art. Okay. okay, let's go back in year 2013. Okay. Once during that time, just a few persons understand about Agile, especially in enterprise ecosystem. During that period, in startup, area. We already proved that Agile way of work is already work inside that area. But if you understand IT ecosystem here in Thailand, you will understand that 95% of person is working in enterprise. And they all doubt that things that work in startup ecosystem will work in enterprise. So they keep studying and then they ask us to join. And they asked us one important question that stop talking, show me how it works. Once we got that question, we totally agree with that question. And then we asked our friends, and let's go into that enterprise and let's do something fun. But anyway, our definition of Agile may differ from other persons. We, we, we are not just trying to ask people to do some sort of sprint, do some sort of post-it, do some sort of ceremony. We believe that if you want to be more agility, you need technical excellence. So that is a big problem. But anyway, we have a chance to introduce that kind of technical excellence to those enterprises. Okay. So, and that is the, the group that we invite them to join us for our first journey. After six months of experiment, we found that we can deliver this kind of technical excellence into those enterprises. Okay. And we came out with this result. Okay. A product that has zero deflect in production. And once that top management of that corporate see this result, okay, they said, this is very awesome. It's work now. And if you are a management, Let's see this result. What will you do? They come with another question. Do you have more? We want more. So that brought us to another experiment. Because we need to grow ourselves to serve more customers. Okay. We come and sit together that in case that we want to grow up, what will it look like in the futures? So we all agree that we need to grow. And the way we grow, we want to be an agile organization in our own way. But what does it mean, agile organization in our own way? At first, we need to understand other people first. So we stop and look out and see other corporates what are they look like from our perspective? So if you look out from this room and study deeply in every organization in this world, you will see that they have two common things. First, they all have different services, but they all have the same structures. Okay. If it looks very hard to understand, I will show you a photos. Okay, the reason why I try to say that, they all have different vision and missions, and they organize themselves around those vision and missions. But the way they organize is quite similar. If you bring in 100 corporates inside your, your worksheet, and you tear it down, you will see these patterns. But there's more interesting things. This is my, our experiment that if we took out vision and mission from this paper, you will see this. They all have the same structures. And what this means to us, 
if you look carefully to this structure, and I will ask you one question. If you don't know their vision and mission, I ask you with this question. Please answer me loudly. What is your question? From this structure, you look inside this corporate, and I ask you, what is their profession? Can you answer? What kind of service that those corporate provide? If they structure themselves like this, it is really hard to explain that. What kind of service that they provide? If we only look at the structure, so we feel that why other corporates structure themselves like this. So if we like to grow, we all agree that we want to be different from this company. Okay, so it brings to second act. Okay, so we all agree that the way we grow up, we need to be something different because we believe that our life is very short. So we have only around 70 years to live in this world. So why don't we do something different from other corporate? So we all agree that if we want to grow, we will structure ourselves to represent our service. Once customer or other person look inside our structure, they will definitely answer what is our services. So we are trying to find our role models. So we found it from one movie. You may know this one. Okay, if you know it, it's, it is from 300, right? There's one scene that the leaders okay, bring their people out to the battlefield. And they met they are the other warriors. And they, come, they just um, look back and ask their, their, their people that, Sparta, what is your profession? And they all say that we are warriors. We like to be like that. How can we structure ourselves to be like Sparta person that they all answer the same question with one answer that we are all warriors. Okay, that is our target. And then we agree that we will have only one department in our groups. And that department name, sorry, software delivery department. And if you look at a corporate that have only one department, and I ask you one question, what is their profession? Please answer to me. Software delivery. So, we have one department, and then we have one service called software delivery service. So that is the beginning of us. Okay, and then we go to our first experiment, which is one department. And how can we deal with that definitions? Okay, we organize ourselves this way. Okay, so we put all 260 people together in one very huge team. And first of all, they have their own primary goal that they need to deliver software to customer. But anyway, as an organization, we still need some sort of supporting functions that we need to move organization around. Like we need to hiring people, we need to invoice customer, we need to do procurement, we need to do some sort of a, a law firm. Okay, but how can we deal with that kind of things? So we agree that we will create one huge backlog. And we won't organize organization with new department. We will call those kind of job is job to be done. And we will put it on backlog. And every day, there will be one person prioritize that kind of work and then inform our people that, okay, today we need to hire people to this team who want to do it. Today, we need to invoice customer with 2 million baht who want to do it. Today, we need to get out to the bank and collect check and then back to the office who want to do it. And after that, there will be someone in our team raise their hand that, I want to do that. I want to do root. I want to do that. It's worked perfectly. We don't have to introduce other departments because they themselves 
have a responsibility to do everything by themselves. Okay, so it's worked perfectly when we start with 12 persons, 30 persons, 50 persons, and 100 persons. But once we reach 100, and we're trying to break through to others' numbers, we hit the wall. Because a group of persons that work together with 100 number, number of 100, there's, there's some sort of basic knowledge we can deal with it. But once we grow up and reach 200, we need another practice to bring ourselves to our other levels. We, we ourselves cannot survive with that, that environment. So we need an expert to come and, and help us. But we facing one big problem. We need an expert from HR. We need an expert from finance. We need an expert from procurement. But if we look inside our organization, we have only one department. So what can we bring those kind of person inside our department? Because they themselves, I may say that, they have very few knowledge about software development. How can we fit them in our teams? Okay, we sit together and think seriously. And we agree that first thing that we won't do we won't do like this. We won't introduce other departments called HR. We won't introduce other departments called finance. We won't do something like that. If we do something like that, we will fall back to be like other corporates. So we want to go other ways. That is the second agreement that we try. So we agree that we will introduce other policy, we call it, lower the bar at the entrance, and less the bar at the exit. This means that in case that some person interested to join us and they found the entrance, they don't need to do an exam. They don't need to do an interview. They don't need to join a boot camp. They don't need to talk with some other seven or six persons they only need to accept us. And then, if they accept us, they have the right to join. Okay. After that, we solve that problem. We find person as an HR expert that would like to join software development teams. We find other person that have background in finance that really like to join the software development teams. So, we don't have to introduce other departments. We only have one department. But those who have different background, if they like to join, what they need to do? They need to be part of software development teams. So this means that everyone in our organization will do one thing, which is software development teams. Okay. So after that, we found that this problem is solved. We don't have to introduce other departments. We still be software delivery organizations. Okay. So, but after seven years of experiment, we have an interesting observation that we would like to share with you. First, of course, we cannot maintain all 100, uh, 300 person that already join us. We have 20 person left us. And there is some more interesting information. For those 20 person who left us, 20 percent, they say that they are faster than us. It means that we are moving very fast, but they are far faster than us. It means they are far better than us. We cannot grow ourselves to match their, their, their potentials. So it is very, very important key that the hard, the hard thing is to enable people to be better person. But the hardest thing is to maintain them inside our organization. So you better be aware that if you already enable people, the way they grow is like an exponential. So if you don't have that awareness, your organization will not fit to their potential anymore, and they will left you. 
Okay. The, sec the, the, sec the, the next 40%, they didn't love our way. First of all, I may say that they didn't love software delivery, but it is too bad to say that. So we just changed words to be, they didn't love our way. So they joined. At first, they understand. But once they try to find team to fit in, as you, understand, as you already saw that, we have only one department, right? Software delivery department. In other corporates, if you join that corporate at IT person and you feel very bad for this department, you may ask your, your boss that, I want to move myself to human resource department because I feel I don't belong to IT. But for us, you have no choice. You have only one choice, which is software delivery. So you cannot move yourself around to other departments. You have only one choice. If you feel not fit in, it means that you may not like to deliver software in our own way. Okay. So the, another three, uh, 30 percent, they have different missions. Like there's uh, uh, one lady, they want to, uh, they, she wants to finish her PhD. There are one guy, they want to be a farmer in their hometown. And there are one guy, he wants to go back to uh, his hometown and get married and stay uh, peacefully with his wife. So uh, we cannot uh, just ask them to stay, just go and, okay, and live with your life. Okay. And another 10%, they may have a very uh, high expectation that, that we cannot afford. Okay. So that is uh, the data that is um, very important. And we, I will conclude that later. Okay. So, the conclusions for this data, I may say that those who stay, they want to perform. And once they want to leave, they will leave with no hesitations. So, we, we have, I can say that there's zero person that stay with us to enjoy benefit from our organization. They want to be here because they want to perform. Because we, are, we have seen a lot of examples that there are lots of people outside there. They just don't want to, to quit their company, to follow their dream, because the benefit that organization provides to them is too good. So they, 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 they can do whatever they want, or they can do whatever their boss asks to, to, to let themselves stay in organization to enjoy benefit. That we believe that it is not that good. Because it is not yourself anymore. Because you do for the sake of organization benefit. So your life is very short. Why don't you get out and then follow your dreams? Okay. And then the second conclusion is education background doesn't matter. But mindset. In our organizations, we have around 30% of our member that doesn't have soft-validated background. And those person still stay with us. And they find places that they can fit in software delivery value chains perfectly. Okay. And in another perspective, we see that we have only 14 customers from seven years. 11 keep continuing contract. Only three discontinue contract. The data say that the first 33%, they discontinue contract because our buffer is smaller than their buffer. We cannot survive with them. The second reason why they discontinue our contract is they change management and their management perspective is different from us. Okay. And the last one is they outsource the whole department to other companies. Okay. And the conclusion is we may, we may, we may find an alternative structure that may survive in this period. So we didn't have to be similar to other corporate. We can be ourselves. Customer don't care how we live, but customer care how good we can deliver service to them. Okay. So I'll, 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 I'll take your time for uh, a couple of minutes. Okay. To the third act. Okay. Because life is a journey. Once it begins, there's no end. We need to 
moving forward. So now we have our current experiment, which is we understand that the situ agile situation here in Thailand is not what is agile anymore. So all people understand and trying to adopt into their organization. Currently, we believe that the situation is people keep asking them how to scale it in their organizations. So we found out that 95% of people that are trying to scale Agile into their organization do this way. They introduce Agile in their IT department first, and then after its work, what should they do next? They will try to scale Agile outside IT world. And we will found out that this is the pattern. They will separate Agile into two ways. Agile for IT and Agile for non-IT. So we ask ourselves strongly that, is this the only way to scale Agile in organizations? 95% of person trying to do this way. But our life is short. We only have 70 years. Why don't we do something different? Okay. We move other way around. But I didn't say that this is wrong. I just say that this is a majority. So we want to be a minority. Okay. We move to another direction that we won't customize agile into organization. But we will do other way around. Bye believe in these two guides. Okay, they have three books that, um, it's a very good book, and then it's very um, nice um, information inside that, that those books, okay? And they are our colleagues, okay? Uh, we change two other way around. We will change organization to follow our agile, which is Scrum. We won't change Scrum to fit into your organization, but we will change organization to fit into Scrum by following this practice called large-scale Scrum. And how can we do that? Okay. We split our person into two teams, and then we dedicated them together, and then we, we asked those two guys, which is, his name is Chok Chai and Pong Sak, as a Scrum Master and Product Owner of those teams, and we dedicated them together. Okay and let them experiment all practices in less organization. Okay, and uh, the, the, the result of this experiment is not ready yet because we have been doing this for just three months. And if you are interested and want to know the result of this experiment, please come back to Agile Tour 2011. <laughs> We will try, we will try to submit a proposal to staff and we will try to have a chance to share our experience to you. And that is our final presentation. Thank you very much for your time, Kap. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, no, stay here, stay here, Kap. You go, Kap. You go, Kap. You go, Kap. Oh, very interesting. It's like uh, we are <laughs> seeing the odd movie journey. Yes. <laughs> uh, and also we have the second part of yes. the odd movie. It's kind of like year. upcoming episode. You need to pay us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, uh, we we are asking, uh, you can uh, submit feedback uh, with uh, Mendy by uh, scan the QR code, you say, uh, for feedback for our speaker. Yes. Yes. And if you have any question, you can ask. So, okay. Uh, please wait for a minute. Actually, it's in our slide. Ah. But I just ah. keep it. Okay. As I say that, we lower the bar at the entrance and we raise the bar at the exit. So you don't have to do an exam. You, the only thing that you need to accept is 
hour for disappointment in odds. พิมพ์ผิดด้วยสไลด์อ่ะโอเค so they need to accept this for there's no supporting functions there's no employee services there's no career path there's no proud of us if you accept this for we are welcome you to try okay because we encourage them to taking care of themselves please don't expect There will be someone to come and taking care of you, because that is other corporate already do that. If you want to join us, be yourself, and taking care of yourself, and make decision by yourself your career path. Yes, that is the way we. At the begin, at the first day, if you want to join us, okay, we will sit down together. And this is the first topic that we will introduce to you. If you accept this, we are welcome. If you cannot accept this, please go. <laughs> okay, because because we don't want to sell them with the the dream that we provide you a very good benefit. We provide you a very good supporting function. There's no no such thing like that. Okay, have. ขอบคุณครับเอครับ That is my answer Thank you ครับ Okay now, now we know the uh, odd way the Odd way <laughs> Odd is not hiring it's, Yes we are not hiring ครับ But you know the way Yes you will know the way You will find us <laughs> You will find the entrance If you really want to understand us Okay ครับ yeah. Okay Okay Thank you พี่รูฟครับขอบคุณครับ Okay ตอนนึงครับ You have A little bit gift for you. <laughs> Thank uh, you. With our pretty, 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 pretty. You know, pretty. You know, pretty. You know.